Alright, so Sagittarius, we're going to see what's going to come up for you. And now keep in mind, this will not resonate for all of you. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing, Sag, is we also have gems. Of course, I just realized I put that there, and my door is black, so you can't even see what I'm holding. <laughs> but anyways, we have gems, crystals, and rough stones. What I'm currently holding is obsidian, so if you're interested in things like that, that'll be in the description down below. Alright, so we're going to have a look at what's currently going on with you, and then some messages and advice for you. What is currently going on? The sign of Sagittarius. The cards are a bit weird, Sagittarius. It's like they're. It's hard to describe. Sagittarius, you have something coming in, some sort of news or communication that leads it, it leads to abundance. It leads to this high, joyful state in your life, emotional fulfillment. It's building the deck. You have the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Now let me read you these descriptions here. You have decisive, focus-driven, defensive events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. A happy marriage. A happy ever after. Emotional contentment. Loving relationship with your children. Raising children wisely and successfully. People you can trust. Sagittarius. We got a good reading so far already and we haven't even really gotten into it. My hair is all over the place. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. Romantic, flirtatious, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. You have Release, which is actually the death card in normal tarot decks. Let me see a Scorpio energy. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. A spiritual transformation. And we have the wise counselor. Unity with the spiritual minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust. The answers will come. Compare to traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. This can be seen as Taurus energy, but that's not the main point of the message here, Sagittarius. You have the lovers. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrate health or recovery from an illness. This is Gemini energy. And seven of wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge it. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. You have the page of cups. Sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody. Moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounters, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. What is going on with your reading here? <laughs> we have the Empress. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. We 
We have the Emperor, which is Aries energy. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation, accept their leadership role, structure and discipline. And we have the Ace of Wands. An amazing opportunity, be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now's the time to take action, do what you're passionate about. You have the Nine of Wands. Protect what you have created, be prepared, never give up, ask your angels for help, environmental activism, activism and animal rights. You have the Eight of Wands. Too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, Unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business, travel. Two of Wands, taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plan, continue to move forward. You have the star, which can be seen as Aquarius energy. Have faith, the future is bright, dreams come true. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. You have the Three of Wands. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. You have the Knight of Wands. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts, stay focused, passionate relationship. Queen of Wands, which can be seen as your own energy, whether you're male or female, does not matter. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling, there's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself, never under underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience. A time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. Look at how much is going on here, Sagittarius, with your reading, okay? There's a lot here. What it feels like is you have rewards coming in, first off from past actions you have done, from like, you know, past efforts, rewards are coming in, Ten of Cups, remember? Okay, and it looks like now, after that, you're gonna be planning ahead for which steps you take, okay? Can be like business-wise, the Emperor. Yes. Which leads to even more success, okay? Even more rewards here, Sagittarius. Take a moment to think about it, however. But it feels like you're gonna be going places in life, Sagittarius. You're gonna be like. It's hard to describe, but there is like a huge amount of success that is like. It's not a normal, everyday person thing. You understand? There's also a lot of release here. Um, Sagittarius. What it feels like as well, it feels like you're going to be connecting with people who uh, are spiritual like yourself here. But it's like you're ahead of them. You're, you're at like, they are spiritual, but you're like up here. You understand? They're kind of like a page and you're up here. You also got a connection coming in if you're single. You with the Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Water, Gemini, Aquarius. A lot of things here. You got a lot of abundance, Sagittarius, honestly. And it feels like that's that's something you've been really passionate about. It's like these projects, these ideas that you've been really wanting. Um, even your own spirituality here, the wise counselor. So let's have a look at messages. Oh, let's pull these cards first. Where is that box? There it is.
Alright, so we have to look at these cards first, because they're not even in English, Sagittarius. Alright, so we have Powers, Camille, which is an angel. The angel who meditates good and bad. This represents a person who tries to find balance between what is correct and incorrect. A person who tries to help others. Okay, and then we also have... Seneseer. This represents a okay. I have to take this out of the deck, but can be like uh, bad habits, apparently. This is supposed to be an angel of ascension. So yeah, Sagittarius, you are ascending here, okay? You have a lot of angels that are with you that are like, and it feels like you, you are this person, all right, who does try to make the right choices, who does try to be fair towards others. Creativity. We, your angelic messengers, are here to unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. So, like, creatively, Sagittarius. Maybe you're working on things creatively, like new creative projects, Ace of Wands, as well. Encouragement. Your love is invaluable to the earth and those around you. Even though you may not always see the positive effect that your love has on others, trust, for it does. Each time you offer love through a loving gesture, thought, or word, you plant a seed of love. And love always generates more love. Trust and continue your loving work. Yeah. Dreams. This is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life each moment and keep focus on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you have ever wished for, even that which seemed a distant dream, is about to manifest. Sagittarius! Ooh. Ooh. Honestly, like such there's everything here that you've been working towards, everything that you've been applying yourself towards, and that is manifesting. Like you're getting the rewards of that, the benefits, right? Can even be from you, um, your generosity that you put out into the universe. Okay, let me tell you something. Such there's when you are kind to others, that comes back to you, okay, in a positive way, like some sort of gift from the universe. All right. Of authenticity. Trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. Okay, Sagittarius. Editor. Your writing or other creative project benefits from outside benefits from outside help and support. Once again, we're talking about creative projects here. Sagittarius, maybe you have someone here helping you with that. 
Prosperity. Your actions have resulted in incoming in abundance. What have we been talking about? Prosperity and abundance, Sagittarius, and that's actions of the past. Ask for what you want. Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others helps you avoid misunderstandings and speeds up the process of answered prayers. Yeah, ask for what you want here, Sagittarius. What do you want in life? Okay, just communicate with your spirits. Like, it, it speeds up because, like, there's no misunderstandings. Okay. So, really, just put it out in the universe. What do you want? Hmm? You have writer's group. Create or join a writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship, and sports. Maybe something about writing here, Sagittarius. Okay? If you are into that. And then we have straight... Stay... Blah. <laughs> stay true to yourself. Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, trust, and follow your inner voice. It goes back to that authenticity. Stay true to yourself, Sagittarius. What feels right to you? Okay? Don't do something just because someone wants you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. I have more cards than I realized. We have let go, which we did have that um, release card. So maybe releasing things, releasing things that are kind of holding you back. Okay, whether that be people, thoughts, or whatever. We have trust. It's telling you to have trust here because you do have abundance. Have trust in your spirit, guys, because abundance is coming your way. Within the next few months, Sagittarius, it's actually a lot sooner than you think. Remain positive. Yes. Which overall shouldn't be hard for your sign. Okay, because you are a positive sign, usually. Healing. Pause to receive. Maybe you're healing or maybe you're healing other people here. Could be both, but it feels like more of the, you know, you're healing other people or you have some sort of healing quality to you. You have yellow. Joy and happiness. My goodness, there's so much, like, positive energy in your reading here. Sagittarius. White. Purity and innocence. Okay. Purity and innocence, Sagittarius. We have go with the flow, pedal on. Oh, these are numbers I keep forgetting. So 51, 1, this last one is 43. Anyways, go with the flow, pedal on, number 42. Go with the flow, Sagittarius. Like you, honestly, Nothing's really like it feels like you are going towards the right path, Sagittarius. Nothing really needs to be corrected here. You do have your abundance coming in, you do have your wish, you know, like everything you've been wanting. Pink, number 26, self love and nurture. Maybe some self love. Number 50, signs from spirit with love. Sagittarius, you're getting signs here from spirit, okay? Maybe towards where you're supposed to be, um, next direction, next path, something you've been asking for. You are receiving signs. Oh my goodness.
Okay, Sagittarius. So, angels that are currently with you, we have number 19 with fuel. It's angel of cleansing, but there's also a message with this card. Allow yourself to be cleansed of all that is no longer serving you in preparation for growth and renewal. If you are contemplating a detox of, or life change, lifestyle change, this card is validation that you are on the right path. Okay, Sagittarius cleansing, okay? Cleansing, release. Okay, this can be many things. This can be people that hold you back. This can be thoughts. This can be your, your diet, even. You're detoxing, right? And number 20 with the Zach Frail. As in the card. There we go. It's supposed to be graceful. Surrender. The material aspect of life is only temporary. Gently release any attachments to me. When you surrender, you open to receive that which is truly yours. This too shall pass. Okay, such a Honestly, there's no need to worry because you have things coming in. Okay, no need to worry about what you have. Is it enough? And you got spirit like generously about to give like. Just about to dump a whole bunch of abundance onto you. <laughs> we have number 13 with Raduro. Creativity. Once again, talking about creativity. You are a creator. Don't allow doubts to hold you back. You are gifted and inspiration and you can do it. All you have to do is start. Begin your creation today. Yes, Sagittarius. So who here that you're supposed to create? And you're going to know what that is, because you're going to have that feeling towards it. It can be something spiritually, it can be something creative. Number 24 with Jer Jeremiah, mercy. Call on me to bring more comfort and clarity into your life. Do not hold on to that which is outdated. I can help you clear your mind and nourish your soul. Sagittarius. So, Sagittarius, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't like subscribe. Bye, guys.